G'day, it's Heath here from PickingLessons.com. The Congress Reel, this is a great tune. We've got some great exercises we can pull out of it for the right hand and left hand. It's a great tune to play. We're in a Dorian mode, so we're in A Dorian. That's a minor scale from the second degree of a G major scale. So here's your G scale. But A becomes our tonal center. which gives us what we call the Dorian mode. So in a moment, we're gonna take a look at that scale. We'll learn those notes for a nice warm up, and we'll have a look at some exercises using that scale that really will set us up to play this tune. So there's several techniques in the tune that we wanna have a look at as we get to know it, and we'll do that in a moment here. If you head to pickandlessons.com, you better get yourself a copy of the tablet you're working from, and in the members section, we'll break down the tune, and you've got some play along and backing tracks there as well. Okay, so let's start out by learning this A Dorian minor scale. Now, it's pretty straightforward. We're just gonna play one octave. So we're gonna kick it off here from that A on the second fret and just have a look at those notes, just slowly. We have to shift position for our fingers. So we're starting out in our first position. First and third fingers there. Now we switch across the first finger on that F sharp, G, and little finger up to A. So we're finishing up on the A there on that uh, fifth fret. So we want our little finger to cover that. Our first finger gets the second fret there as we reach that string. So as we return back down, back to first position with our fingers. And basically that's just meaning our first finger is at the first fret. So second position is first finger at the second fret. So there's our scale note. So firstly, stop and get to know those. We're gonna have a look at two exercises that feature that scale. Now, the first of these exercises is what we'll describe as a, as a movement within the scale, two steps up, one step back. This feature's in the tune. Actually, you've, you come across it quite a bit, and it's a really nice way of practicing our scale. So once you get the scale notes, once you can just play the scale. Alternate your picking as well, by the way, so practice that up. You can start with just down strokes. But really, what we want for this tune is to work on our alternating picking too. So down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Alternating each note. But this exercise, two up, one back. have a look at that just very quickly. That's a great exercise. That features in part of the tune, particularly in the final measure before we hit the repeat. It is a good exercise, so let's have a look at it slowly. So basically, what we're doing is stepping up two notes in the scale. So we start on our root note A, miss the open B and go to the C. Then we step back to the B. But then we go up two steps, so we miss the C and go to the D. And so we follow that pattern all the way through. So up two, back one. Up two, back one, up two, and so on. Now, it might be a little confusing at first, but do have a close look at the tab there. Just watch those fingers there in that last position, that little finger and your second finger on the A. So let's have it go from the top again. Up two, back one, up two, back one. Follow that pattern. And we'll just finish there on the A. Now, it might take you a little bit to get used to that, but the movement itself is a really nice one to get the hang of. It pops up in this tune, but it does pop up quite regularly in other tunes. When we reverse it, same idea, except we're gonna start up on that high B. So we're going back two steps, up a step, down two steps, up a step, and so on. Once you pick it up and build on that formula we're using through the scale, make sure your right hand you're working on is alternating. So down, up, picking as we go through. So that is a great exercise to work on, not only for this tune, but just for your picking in general. It really is a good exercise. So up two, back one. Now, the next exercise we're gonna have a look at here too before we, we, we move on is this pedal tone exercise. There's a bit of a feature in the melody. This idea of 
this coming back to the coming back to like a pedal note. And so basically what that means is we're playing a higher accented note and then we're gonna come back to this lower note we keep coming back into. We don't do it a whole lot in this tune, but it certainly does pop up. And this exercise is gonna help us work on that. Bit of string skipping, bit of back into the pedal tone uh, with our picking. So this exercise. <laughs> Just to get us through, using the Dory mode again, but just to get us through some of the ideas we're gonna be seeing in the tune. So firstly, we're basically starting on that E, very much like the melody, and back to the A. So that's a real key feature of the tune. We wanna get that right. This is gonna help us do that. It's exactly how the melody starts, well thereabouts anyway. We'll repeat that twice. So alternating your picking as you go through. So we're down, then up, down, and up, so just straight alternating picking on our eighth notes. Then we'll build in a little bit of the scale just to make it uh, sound a little bit more interesting as we go. But following the same technique. So first string, third string. Up, down, up, up, down, up. And you can hear that pedal tone used in a variety of genres and styles. It's a really nice technique, but it does pop up in this tune. Uh, as we finish that, that first part of the exercise, then we move on to uh, what you may consider a little bit easier, where we go second to third string, but still making sure that we're picking it cleanly. Just running up through some scale melody there. So, these are great exercises to warm up on. That Dorian scale. Two up, one back. And this pedal tone exercise. Now, if you can do all that and you're pretty comfortable with that, you're gonna find this tune fun to play. You're gonna be able to cover the tune really easily, but certainly work on those exercises if you're not overly comfortable with the scale and some of those techniques we were talking about. Now, over at pickinglessons.com, we're gonna break down the tune in the next part of this lesson. So we'll break down part A, we'll look specifically at the melody there, and then look at part B as well. So pickinglessons.com, see you there.